All right, Successful Indie Author 5-Minute Focus, episode 233, looks like. Landing pages. We talk about landing pages, control, and where you send the readers who are interested in your stuff, like your stuff, might be interested in your stuff. It's a central collecting point for readers, fans, and potential buyers. So this is this is a, a very important element in your business setup, having that landing page. It's one of the, uh, the first things you need to have when you publish your book. You need to give your people a place to follow you, and the land, from the landing page is where they can do that. So that landing page, what do you put on there? Your coolest stuff, oh, your biggest seller, your uh, most interesting elements of your story. If you have some art about a character in your story that, hey, this is cool. That's in the story. Great. The coolest stuff. And then step down. The foundation on which your cool stuff stands is you. So what makes you cool? You're an author. You're cool. Even though people are like, I'm Andre, I'm not very interesting. You are because you've written a book. You use your imagination to create stories that other people can enjoy. So what makes that interesting? Even if you live in a block with a thousand other people who look just like you and nobody does anything interesting, but you're still creating stories. So your interesting stuff is the stuff in your imagination. So make your landing page look like that. If you write high fantasy, if you write romance, if you write any of that stuff, whatever you write, this is what your page should look like. Because, hey, that's what makes you cool, what makes you interesting. And a, a little bit of organization goes a long way. And this is where I say a view of your stuff that doesn't look like a total nutter put it together. So you don't want to have random stuff where it looks like somebody who is, uh, is uh, psychotic is is looking at it trying to make sense of it so you want to have some kind of order here's my series here's the main genre here's the main things i have something like three different series now so my my uh website is kind of complex but still it's the most recent uh, release it's hey join follow me hey, join my newsletter you click on that you get a free book all all that good stuff that then keeps them coming back and now here's an important thing that some people miss what's next coming up next for you so what's the next book what's the next series what's the next interesting character what's the next interesting event in your life what is worth them hanging on board and staying with you this is what a landing page does so if you if you revert down and say well i'm just going to use amazon as my landing page if you if you have a website you can rss your feed in there your blog so you could put that, and so now your Amazon page looks pretty well populated, but you have to have a website. Much better just send them to your website where you control how they move through that website and also that you can get their email address. You want them following you on Amazon because Amazon will send out an email to the followers every time you have a new release. So you want them following you there because Amazon's deliverability is extremely high since they own all the servers. So their emails get to the people and they can see, hey, Okay, I have a new release. Cool. But on your website, you control everything. You can take them that new release and say, hey, I'll give you a dollar off if you're wide, if you're elsewhere. Or here, if you buy this, then I'll give I'll put you I'll put you in this uh, promotion or something else. <coughs> this is uh <coughs> so would you have Amazon or your website prefer if you have just a single link that you can share? Send it to your website because you control that. And then, Am oh, by the way, follow me on Amazon too, if, if they can. It's one click easy. And uh, and that gives a, a new release two chances to get to their email so they can say, yes, we got a new release. I want to read it. And then how to follow you. This is really important because, once again, it goes back to control. You want that name on your newsletter. This is your landing page, so that's where you can get them to follow you. Because if they're going to click over to your landing page, they're already interested. You're And you're showing them, hey, look how cool I am. I've got cool stuff, and I'm personally cool. Uh, even if you're not, you've got your imagination, you've written a story, you can tell them you're cool. And then uh, how to follow you, get on your newsletter, then you have that control. You can contact them directly. Hey, my next release isn't coming out for six months. I know I said three. 
the readers will be fine if you just let them know. But if they don't have any way to contact you or you have any way to contact them, then they're not going to know. And then they're just going to be disappointed. Hey, she said it was going to be out in three months. It's not. And then they don't know and they can't see and they go away. That's not what you want. Control the message to your fans. Keep them informed. Bottom line, you're selling what you have available now. This is, here's my stuff. Here's all these series. Here's all these books. Here's all these great stories. A little something for everyone. But here's what's coming up too. You're selling that promise. And that promise is what will keep them coming back. It's, you're not going to say, hey, here's all my stories. I'm done writing. Have a nice day. Please buy my stuff. That's not very attractive. People want to know that there's more coming. And that's what, uh, that's the promise. So here's what I am now. I'm interesting. I'm cool. The stories are cool. And I got more coming. That's a great landing page. All right, everybody. Peace, fellow humans.